Griffith, Lucy. Centuries-old cypress dips bendy legs into the water. Seven deer hightail the fence. Only I wonder why the red-throated buzzard above. Last night, the sky split open, its gray cloud promise. Thunderous music on my tin roof. Today, sunlight filters through heavy raindrops, a dewy web woven between limbs. Out. Drink, the spider invites. I linger in this wicker chair, a jabbery squirrel questioning my presence, and a wish for a blue butterfly etched in black to alight on my head. And the next one is by Gloria Amescoa, who's from Austin, but couldn't be here today. And it's follows in line with the dirt dauber theme. The potter, it's on page 194. <clears throat> her work flies off shelves. Without her daughter's help, she couldn't finish the pots, eyeglasses two fingers thick. Her worry hands shape clay, wrap smelly horsehair. Fired by wood, cow dung, her art bakes in embers for hours, centuries. The spirits of generations whisper in the smoke, the old way is the only way. The pot, a field of zacate and turquoise, veiny black lines on tan, negative thunderstorm in a frenzy. Finally, cutting away to clouds, Rain feathers, burnished red mountains, a turtle, life giver. Read a white goat. Is the coming darkness your sacrifice to a hunger only you understand? Another poem, which is on page 59 is about, if you go to San Antonio and you turn west on Highway 90 and you get to where the river, uh, you cross the Pecos River on that big bridge, if you look over to the right, there's this cliff and there are these shelter caves in there. And inside one of those caves is this. This is the White Shaman Mural. It's 13 feet tall and 26 feet long. And because they have wonderful magic and science now, they know that one painter did this. They thought maybe you know, it was multiple, one painter. Cave painter of the Decibel Blab. Wade the river. Scramble the Oakwood cliff. Step into the harbor of this long, sheltering cave, framing the mountains where the sun sleeps. Thousands of years ago, I took charcoal from the fire, sketched the wall, used each curve and hollow, layered meaning, mixed each color, ground stone, root, insect, for black, then red, yellow, white, fashioned a scaffold to paint high, revealed rituals that share our beliefs, duality, replication, 
peyote buttons that ease the crossing of souls. Is it rope? Serpent? Umbilicus? Yes. Crack the code of cyclical time. First book, this wall, rocks that sing our song. Mm -hmm.